All right, so after you've installed uh, WP Mathbox GLJS, you'll be able to make maps. You'll have to come here to the left menu item, GLJS Maps. That's our custom post type that is going to contain all our maps. You can see here we've been testing around uh, in the company, just making sure that all this stuff is working right. So you'll come in, you'll see a little loading screen, and your map will appear. And you can give it a title, and first map. Now the first thing to notice is that up over here in the top right, you're going to see a short code that will later appear once you've published your map once. And that code is going to let you uh, use this map across the site. So just bear in mind, you're going to need to know this area. Now down for <coughs> in the map itself, things should be pretty clear of how you can get started adding uh, different pieces of information. You can add points by clicking on this marker icon, and then you'll see click anywhere on the map. You'll see there's some pop-up that appears. Click on the different pop-ups and then edit to edit some of their content. Feel free to add media, text, all different types of things. You can cancel or save. Let's uh, let's just modify this a little. My first pop-up, and we'll make it bold. We'll save that. You can see it's been updated there. You can also trash the pop-up just by clicking on it there. To add a shape, you just follow it along, follow the instructions to click the first point, and you'll end up with a shape. Same with the line. And again, follow the instructions, click twice on the last point to end the line. Once you've added a couple shapes and a couple different things, you'll see down here in this panel underneath some information is being populated. Now you can see we have three separate sections, markers, fills, and lines. So our markers, we can click on each marker to bring up the pop-up and allow a few options here. We're able to change the marker that we actually associate with this, and you'll see more in upcoming versions of Mapbox GLJS. You can also change the name here just for cosmetics. This is just to help you identify the marker in your list of markers, especially if you get to have hundreds of them. If you don't, if you can't find the marker or whatever, you can click on it here and then click Edit its pop-up, and it'll just appear easily. Or you can delete it, as well as an option to allow it to either load um, with the pop-up open or load with the pop-up closed. Um, you just select which one you want. There's also an alternative way of adding markers, which is to use an address. So if I wanted to use Vancouver, um, we'd have it come up here, and we select Vancouver, and it brings us down there, drops a marker in the typical place Vancouver. So you can type your address there, no problem. Now when it comes to fills and lines, you can click here and see how to edit them, you can pick a color, change that color. If we zoom out here a bit, we'll be able to see our shape changing color as well. Where is it? There it is. So here it is, and we can change its color as we want. And we'll change live, close, and that's easy. Now there's also some controls. These controls are here on the side, and this allows you to turn on and off these different elements that appear on the map. There's directions you can use, distance scales. These are all Mapbox defaults. There's also the style. Now the style is really a cool one because you have all these different Mapbox maps available for you to test out how your map looks on it. We can try a few different ones. See pop-ups appear but disappear again once you click. And you can also add your own custom style. Now to do that you're going to have to go into Mapbox and you have to make sure you're using the right account associated with the, a the access token that you put in, then you're going to have to get this, um, some of the style URLs that come from here. We had deal with that a little more in the documentation in a separate video as well. But this is where you would add it. And lastly, there's some advanced options down here where you can set the, the initial map view for when people are going to land on your map. What's it going to show? How zoomed out is it going to be? Where is it going to be centered? Is there going to be any pitch, an angle, anything like that? So that's just a very brief overview of the map editor. You can see that there's a little bit more to explore, but essentially you can add these markers, add the fills, add lines, do some editing, change content, change controls, and the styles. Now when we do publish, we'll get it saved. You'll see it load back in. And there it is. And up here, is the shortcode that we had mentioned. So with this, you can use this like any other shortcode you would use in WordPress. You put that into any blog post or page, and it will show this map 
uh, fitting to this to the width of that page. Well, I hope this video was helpful, and we'll talk to you again soon.